Hey pirates, I'm going to ask you to use a program called Lucid Chart. I'm going to walk you through it. First thing you're going to do is click on the link that's going to bring this up. You're going to log in. And over on the left, you're just going to log in with your Google. And Google. Then once you're in, what you're going to see is I've already created a couple projects here, but if you go up to the orange tab right up here, click on that. And you can either do one from a template. I don't really recommend that for this assignment. I would just create a new one. And when it loads, what you're going to get is you're going to get just a blank canvas. And it's really cool. It's even got uh, grid lines on it for you. And let's get started. So you have your palette over here, and I'm going to go ahead and pick the shape that I want for the middle part of my communication model reproduction. So I'm going to click that, and I get a box, and I'm going to drag it over to the middle. And once I get it put in place, what I can do is I can double click on the words and that is going to give me the ability to start typing so let's go ahead and type something in here and oh i accidentally deleted it let me fix that and okay All right, so I'm all done with that, but I don't like how the lettering looks. So I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to change the size of the font. I'm going to make it bold. I already did. And I'm going to drag the corner down and out so that my box fills or that the words in the box fill the box. Now let's say I don't like the line that I've got. What I can do is I can click on the line and then I can go up here to where it says uh, line and I can change the color, but you can't really see that all that well. So let me go over to line weight. That's style, sorry, line weight. And I can make it a little bit thicker just by pressing the, the up arrow. There you go, now you can see it. Then let's say I want to actually have a different color in that box right there. I'm going to fill the box with, let's say that color, there you go, I like that. Now, if I want to get artsy, what I can do is I can go over here to this curved arrow and if I click on it and move that around, you can see that the box angle actually changes like that. And then I'll move it around a little bit. And that's pretty much it for that. And let's say that I want to put the arrows for the direction that my communication process model goes. First, let me get a reference point in here. I'll put another box up there. And another one off to the side sender and receiver would go there. Okay, so I need to link those two. So uh, let me go get an arrow and I'm gonna bring it over and place it right about there. And I could be good there. I could, you know, turn the arrow to the angle where it's pointing at that other box. The other thing that I could do is I could copy and paste another arrow and have a couple arrows linking the boxes together and just kind of move it around to where I need it. And I mean, that's basically it, guys. Uh, don't forget at the bottom here or up here at the top or underneath the verbal, nonverbal boxes, you need to include two examples, one of nonverbal and another of verbal communication.
Then when you're done, you're going to go up to share. And what you can do is give it a name first. And after it's got a name, you can get the shareable link. Copy. And then go back over up to Google Classroom and you'll turn it in in Google Classroom. Again, pretty simple stuff, guys. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Good luck.